Guys, today is a great day because I got my tickets for Justin. Oh my god, it was so hectic. Like I was on the website and it literally was like sold out in like a second. Like wait, I need to clean my fucking boxes. Hold up. I was on the website at exactly 10 a.m. and it was literally sold out right away. So Luca and I was on were on FaceTime. We were like, there's no way it sold out this fast. And I spent 10 minutes just continuously clicking, 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 trying to get tickets. And then suddenly I had two in my thing. And I was like, <laughs> and then I bought them and I'm so happy. I got the Peaches VIP, which basically is just like early entry to the floor. So I can try to get front row bit. Ah! It's crazy because by the time that concert rolls around, it's on January 13th 2023 I will be a fan for like 14 years I became a fan of him in 2009 so it's honestly like I feel fucking like a fossil the fact that I've been a fan for so long I haven't seen him since 2016 so it's been like six five years now it's been five years by that time it'll be like seven ish six and a half seven years since I saw him live so Overdue, bitch. Overdue. I can't fucking believe that I'm gonna see him. Oh my god. <laughs> fucking crazy! I can't believe it. I, um... Literally, what the fuck? I have a call with my manager in like 25 minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna edit a video and... Are you kidding me? They're still fucking doing maintenance. Are you kidding me? Is this a joke? Okay, well, anyways. This is probably going to happen all fucking day. Um, I'm going to do some editing until my manager calls me. And then I have other stuff to do. I'm getting my tooth gems today as well. Dude. Uh, and, um... I'm just gonna go, this is not working. <laughs> actually have a super fun sponsor for today's vlog which is muses only and they sent me a bunch of cute stuff gonna be putting like a try on on the side literally cannot wait to wear all these things once i can go back to the gym also to note really quickly they're gonna have a giveaway for black friday on their social media so make sure to check that out the whole website is going to be 40 percent off during black friday which is november 19th until december 3rd and my discount code lisa10 is going to give you 10 percent off which you can stack on top of the 40 percent so on Black Friday, you can get 40 plus 10, which is 50% off, which is crazy. Let's see, I did create. Attention, attention. You need to go to the middle You guys, I was mid filming and we had like, I don't know what happened. There wasn't a fire. We all had to leave the building. God, I spent like 30 minutes <laughs> downstairs. Uh, I'm gonna show you all the pieces that I got. I did style them into outfits, so I'm gonna show those on the side. So first, I have this really nice white sports bra, and it just says Muses Only on the front. Just very nice quality. It has padding in there. I might end up taking that out, not sure. These shorts are so freaking cute, you guys. Definitely a bit too cold to work it out in them right now, but once the weather gets a bit warmer again, I would definitely work out in these. And then it says Muses Only. Super cute. Um, I also ordered this before I got my boobs done, so everything's, every top is a little bit smaller than I would want it. Like, I would definitely size up now, but I think I got everything in like an extra small, if I'm not mistaken, which now I would be a small, but that's besides the point. Um, I got this really cute zip up top. I think this will be so cute for working out. And I actually styled this with these leggings, which are kind of like a gray, what's this called again? This has a certain name. I think this is a really cute set together 
Love the contrast of like white and gray. So these biker shorts are amazing. I find it very hard to find like good fitting biker shorts for like working out because a lot of the time they're like so tight around my thighs but these fit really nicely and they have pockets which is insane like who doesn't want pockets so you can like put your key in there or whatever so these are super super nice and i would probably pair it with maybe this top this is more of like an actual like t-shirt fabric but i could totally still wear this for working out um, love the color. It's like a baby tee. Super soft and stretchy. And then this set is probably my... Well, okay, no. These two sets are my favorite. So first off is this legging set. These brown flared leggings. Right? And then paired with this halter crop top. Literally so cute. Obsessed with that. I love any like flared legging and it's just like different than your usual like workout set This one's really cute because it's kind of like a um, tennis Skirt outfit. So it's like a tennis skirt, but it's a squirt like there's shorts underneath there, which is perfect um, And then it has a matching Sports bra Like I'm sorry. This is such a cute outfit. It's like I'm going to play tennis like ooh, sportsy. <laughs> I don't know. One thing I also wanted to know is that I really like their packaging so everything came in these like zip zip bags and i just like the detail on it but everything comes in these nice ziploc bags which you, which you can totally reuse um these i find these really nice for when i'm traveling let's say you have like a wet bathing suit you can pop them in these or like wet or like dirty underwear stuff like that so you can totally reuse these which is good for the environment <laughs> yeah i'll leave a link to muses only in the description thank you so much for working with me on this video I need to leave right now because I have an appointment for my tooth gems. Um, I just wasted 30 minutes or like 40 minutes downstairs. So I need to leave right now. And when I get back, I'm going to open a bunch of packages because I got a lot of stuff in that I ordered yesterday for Blue. If you watch my last vlog, I'm getting a puppy. And yesterday I ordered a bunch of stuff for him, which um, a lot of it came in. So I'm going to be unpacking that when I get back from my appointment. Not filming my appointment, but I'll obviously show you. These are my teeth before and hopefully they'll look good <laughs> okay i honestly should also eat before because i can't eat when i'm there but i literally need to leave in like 10 minutes so i'm gonna make really fast food and then i'm leaving bye i'm back this is what my teeth look like right now i love it because when i talk it's a bit dark i'm sorry wait let me turn on more lights i love it because when i talk you can like see it and even when my mouth is like kind of closed, you can kind of see it. Blah! Right, turned on all my lights. It's so gloomy, it's so fucking cold outside, like six degrees, I was dying. Um, I wanna unpack all my boxes, like look at this shit. So many fucking boxes. I'm gonna go ahead and unpack them all. And I moved my call with my manager to 5 p.m. So I have a call with her in like an hour and a half because this morning they were drilling like all fucking morning so yeah i'm gonna unpack all of these i got a bunch of stuff for blue and then i'm gonna do some more work and i think i'll be done for the day by then very happy with my teeth i can't eat for the next hour and then i can't drink any like soda or anything for the next 24 hours can't brush my teeth for the next 12 hours I think I'm going to start with all the small boxes and then move on to the big ones. And I need to take my trash out today because I have so much shit. And this is going to give me even more boxes. Let's see. Box number one. Also, a little update on my tits. Pain-wise, been doing a lot better. I take my painkillers in the morning and at nighttime now. Um, I ordered... It should be in here. I think I see it right there. I ordered a pregnancy pillow. Like a really big one. Um... So hopefully I can sleep in my bed tonight because I've been sleeping on the couch for like the past week or something because like laying in bed just wasn't comfortable and like I kept like I can't stay in one position because I just my bed's like obviously super soft and shit so that was like really bad but I'm hoping with that pillow I can sleep in my bed because I've started sleeping a little bit on my side not fully but like a little bit and I feel like that pillow is really going to help me so we shall see I'm going to put all blue stuff in here because we still have like another week and a half until he gets here anyways. I got one of these. This is great for when I'm like on the go. Or if I'm like, especially once he is a little bit bigger and I start training him. I obviously want to go out. I think I want to go to like a park. Train with him there. Um, 
it's just nice to have water so I can pop water in here and then you can drink from it. I thought that was just a great, you can see, this is how you use it. That's leak proof, whatever. So I got that, I got this one for him to eat. That way this like sections to the floor and he can't spill. Um, and it has like a slow feeder in there, which I'm a fan of slow feeders. We use it for Devin as well because he literally eats so fucking fast. So yeah, I got that. I don't know, can I put this in the dishwasher? If not, I'll just clean it by hand, but I'm gonna leave it for now. But I thought this was cute. Like I'll just pop this on the floor, put water in there. So I said in my last vlog that I ordered some more gel like polishes and stuff. And I will show you, let me up the brightness a bit. It's so dark, I'm sorry. So I got a bunch of gel polishes. I got this one, hello. It's like a pink. The lighting's bad, I'm sorry. I'll just show you like this. I got a white vanilla cream. Got another like pinky color. I got this thing for like to do like French. So I have another white and then like a nude. And this is like a beige, rose beige, whatever. Got that for my nails. Again, I'll show you do my nails next time. I'm gonna do them. I'll probably do them like next week or something. I got some of these blocks. These are like buffer blocks. And I got some files. I got this thing so I can put my colors on there. Can you see that? There, like the nail thing. I got this for French, doing French nails. And then I got another like detail brush. I got a dot, dot thingy, dot, dot. And then I got, this is like, um manicure placemat that way i can put that on my table when i'm doing my nails this is the brand i just got it it's like a dutch brand um once i get more into doing my nails i'll probably order like other nail polish brands but for now this was like the easiest and it's like a brand that i knew so this is well i hope this is gonna fit him it's a little this might even be too small i honestly have no idea um, I can make this bigger, but this is his, what's this called again? But like a harness, I think. It's very small, but I can make it bigger. We'll see if it's too small, I'll just get a different one. I feel like this might even be too small, but I have no idea how big he's gonna be. He's still very small. I got a video this morning of, him, of all the pups like playing, it was so cute. Um, and he looks very tiny still. So I feel like for the first few weeks, this might be great, even though I don't know, we'll see. If not, I'll just get a bigger one. But once he's like fully grown, I'm gonna get him like a bunch of different ones. Cause like I'm so extra like that. I'm gonna get him like different colors, different patterns. He's literally gonna be so fucking spoiled. I cannot wait. This is the pillow for in his crate. I got two of these fleecy blankets for blue. Um, probably to put around his pillow for his crate as well. And I just think these are always nice to have. I just got two of them. So I'm gonna right away throw these in the wash so that they're just like all clean and ready to go when he gets here. Also, like I could pop this on the couch if I want him like on the couch. Cause like I don't really want him to like, I don't like dogs on a couch. It just makes your couch so dirty. But I would allow him to get on the couch if it's like on a blanket. So this is like the type of blanket I would use for that. So it's just like very soft and cozy. Um, so I got two of those. Like if he pees on it or something, I can just throw it in a wash again. Like it's fine. Or if whatever happens, if they get dirty, these are just great to have. Also, there, if you have had a puppy or whatever, and you have any recommendations of something that you think I should really, really have, whether that's like a certain toy or I don't know, whatever it is, let me know in the comments. I'm open to hearing about it. I feel like I have a pretty good idea of what I need, but I mean, Always open to suggestions. First big box, let's see what's inside. I got a puppy or like dog toilet. I live very high up and so 
there's going to be moments when I can't run downstairs to have him go pee. And I would also just love for him to kind of learn to pee on these things. Obviously, I'm going to go on walks, you guys. It's not like I'm going to have my dog just like only pee in the house. But I just live very high up. I live in a high rise and it's just not realistic to think that if he needs to pee, I'll be downstairs in like a minute. It's going to take me at least five minutes. So I got this dog toilet. I got a bunch of pads. Let's see if I can show you this. Ugh. Basically pee pads. There's like 250 in here. So I can put those in there and then I think I might put it like by the balcony, like by the door. Or maybe even if it's not too cold outside, I'll move it like onto the balcony just so he does know like we pee outside. Um, it'll just be part of training, but I think this is going to be really nice. Especially in the beginning. Obviously, he's going to be so young and so small, so it's going to take a while until he's like fully potty trained. But I think this is going to be great if he does need to pee or poop. And yeah. They always ship things in like huge boxes. And there's like, whatever's inside is like this small. It's like, what are you doing? This is a stain and odor spray for if he like pees or poops or vomits, whatever. This will help clean it. I got these ear clean thingies. I got one of these to brush him with just to kind of get him used to brushing. Because I know that not all dogs really like getting brushed. And I feel like this is like an easy way to get started. Also, his coat is like short. Like Try it on. And you'll probably fucking love this shit. Like, I feel like this is gonna be so nice. I can just brush him like that if I need to. I've got, this is like a chew. It's for teething. It's for puppies, like, cause he's definitely gonna be teething. So he can like chew on this. And then let me put my hair up. Like, it's kind of annoying. Do I have a hair tie over here? Let me go find a hair tie real quick. This to start brushing his teeth. I definitely want to get him used to it quite fast. This is for puppies, so it's like a little thing you put on your finger. Eye care, like wipe thingies. I don't know if I'm going to end up using it, but I was like, it's nice to have. I just want to make sure he's like the most taken care of pup and he's like, I don't know, spoiled. Oh, this thing is so fucking cute. This is a heartbeat, what's it called? Heartbeat sheep. Basically, what this is meant to do is act as like a heartbeat. Like, it'll have a heartbeat. And he's so used to obviously now sleeping with his little brothers. So I feel like this can be very soothing. I've read about it that it's very soothing for puppies. Um, he can sleep on it and it'll have a heartbeat. So maybe it'll kind of feel like he's sleeping with his brothers, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I got that. I thought it'd be cute to have him. Look how fucking cute that is, you guys. I got a teething ring. Again, he's going to be a pup. He's going to be teething. So this I can like put on the floor for him to lay on. Last thing I got is this huge container. I didn't think it was going to be this fucking big. I thought it was going to be smaller, you guys. I got this for his food, but it's so fucking big. This is definitely my pregnancy pillow. big here it is i kind of want to take off the thing like before i go to sleep with it i do want this to be washed so let me can i do that oh it's inside okay okay i'm gonna take out i'm gonna put it in the wash right away because then i can use it tonight can i put this in the dryer it says no but i definitely am going to <laughs> isn't it just cotton like why can i not tell me that that's stupid one of them is our two vases that i got Look at this fucking base, you guys. Isn't this so hot? With an ass? Oh my god. Where should I put this? Next week, I'm definitely going to be like kind of working on the decoration in my place. Because um, I just haven't really had much time. I love this. It's from West Wing now. Look! Ah! Oh my god. Ow. What was that? Am I going to get demonetized for this? Let me cover the nipples. Isn't that everything? Is this crate gonna be that big? Did I not measure this right? Because I have a crate still, but that one was quite big and I thought, you know, he's gonna be so tiny. I should get him a smaller one, but I have a feeling this is gonna be 
Okay, so my battery died while I was working on this thing, but it's definitely not a crate. It's more of like a playpen, but honestly, I'm kind of glad that I got it because I feel like this is going to be really good for the beginning. It has this thing that I can put on top. That way you can't like jump out. But I think this is going to be good for the beginning so you can kind of like roam around. Let me put this little thing in there. And I do still have a crate. So eventually I will probably move him over to that. I think this is going to be like a good spot for him to play and chill when I'm like working and I can't like keep an eye on him 24-7. Ooh, this fits in here really nice. Hi, how are you? It's okay. <laughs> it's just, it finally just feels like home and like my own place, which I've wanted for so long. So. Yeah, I mean, when you go visit them, definitely let me know because then we can. Right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna be filming that. They have a podcast?